video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And sponsored by FatalGrips.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off controller grips, cases, and much, much more. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Newcastle Career Mode in FIFA 16. Now, in the previous episode, we had a very tough run of games. We played Chelsea twice, and we also played Manchester City. Both of those games did not end well. We are knocked out of the Capital One Cup. We drew with Chelsea, which was actually, to be fair, the real result in real life, but only a 1-1 draw this time, and we lost to Manchester City. And again, much, much actually better than the result in real life, where we lost 6-1. We only lost 2-1, but sadly, it's like an 88th minute goal that went through a defender's legs. It's a bit, it was upsetting. It wasn't the best episode, but oh well. I'm hoping this episode we can get some real points we can do quite well because we have stoke city we also then have sunderland that's the big one we then have bournemouth and then we have leicester and to be honest with you guys you know how it works i normally do like to simulate at least one game per episode try to make it a home game and try to make it a, uh, against a side that's you know not too crazy and isn't one of the better teams that we'd play in that episode so I'm going to go with Stoke because the only other home game that we're going to play is going to be against Leicester. And I want to play the game against Leicester by far. But this is the thing. They've had a pretty good track record. They've beat Watford. They've beat Swansea. They've beat Aston Villa. And we managed to fucking lose 1-0 to Norwich the last time we simmed at home. So I don't know. I've still selected this to be my game that I sim. Please, for the love of Christ, we need at least a point from this game. Surely. Come on. We deserved it. Skip. I can't fucking skip games. It's a mare right now. It's a thing. I simulate games against the weaker teams at home, so I'm doing everything right, but no. Apparently, I should have simulated the Leicester game. Apparently. Even then, I probably would have lost 1-0, because if this game's going to give me no points against Norwich at home, then I have no hope. But anyway, let's simulate. We've got new drills. We have Perez, Tillemans, and Mbemba getting a drill, so three of them this time. We've got Perez going up 77. Tillemans and Mbemba absolutely skyrocketing. He went up by about two stats or two overall, uh, two attributes. There's also another reason why I decided to simulate the first game it's because the first game that we get to play will be the one against Sunderland and that is a great way to start and here is the team that we're playing for in the time weird derby this is what we want we've got Carl Darlow starting in goal we've got Willems uh, Mangala and Bemba and Yanmat the back four and then again we've got Tillyman 78 Aarons and Cabela's gonna start at right mid instead of Tobin who's a bit tight and Suzuko and Bynadam Adam they're back fully fit Perez up front the only player we're missing is Krull but that's unfortunate either way hopefully we won't need him and we won't even need Darlow to do anything it's unlikely, but hopefully we can actually deliver. We can get something for ourselves. The game is certainly not giving us anything. A 1-0 loss to Norwich at home. A 1-0 loss to Stoke at home. We're not getting any favours from the game right now. We've got to get it ourselves. So come on. Finally, let's snap the streak. Sunderland team looks like this. It's five at the back. That is saying something, isn't it? Three centre midfielders, two strikers up front. That's how they're going. And then, of course, our team. And we're going 4-5-1 attack. What? Okay. Okay. Who do you think is trying to win this game? Or who do you think at least is trying to throw in a tactical master uh, masterclass? Park the bus, get us on the counter. Like they've done, a lot of their wins in this streak have come that way. I know one particular in the 90th minute. But it's got to end right now. This has to finish. As soon as it does, I feel it'll give the confidence boost to Newcastle that it's sorely been missing. They eventually, you know, every now and again, they go on a good run of games. That's great. But this would be the key. This is the real thing that's going to set us loose. So come on. Here we go. Immediately starting off with a beautiful ball. Cabela Suzoko. He's got two on him and running completely straight away out of options. Gets it right back, though. And we could be away right now. Tilly Mans. Good, good touch, Cabela. And again, guys, come on. Ah. Beginner set by Mangala. That was huge. Come on, counter-attack time. We just are not real... You know, for a 4-5-1, we're not very well set up for a... We're not very well set up for goals, you know. And I just run out of options. I have two players that are all pretty much, like, <laughs> just in a position where it's impossible for me to pass to. Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, my God. Suzoko took it. But Larson somehow got it back. Guys! Guys! I hate how we just keep putting them under all the pressure and they keep getting the ball back. They keep turning it over. We keep losing it. There's a me It's a mess right now in the box. Can we just get it out, please? I don't want to just lose possession either. This is good now. Finally, we're away. But they've just got four always set right at the back. It's insane. But this is good because look at Aaron's. Look at Rolando Aaron's. Look at him. He's got nothing to cross to. He's going to have to put some moves on. Something, anything. Bicycle kick by Sissoko. And that went nowhere near the goal. Oh, it's a, oh come on. That, some, that ball just took a bobble right as we went in for the slide tackle. Just lifted up so we wouldn't get it. And now he's got that yellow card to worry about. 
I don't mind what I've gone here. I don't mind it at all. I've got Rolando Aarons right up the middle. That's good. Just play it one more time. See if you can go back to him. Oh, shit. He got play out really wider than what I thought. Cabela, we don't have any support. He's going to have to go in again. Or not. Or maybe he will. Yes, Cabela. Shoot, please. Suzuko's there. Shoot. Suzuko! It's somehow gone through. That was the most ugliest play you'll ever see. I played out... I, I passed it out wide because Aaron's had it, played it to Cabela because I thought he'd get closed down, and then Cabela shot it, deflection after deflection, save after save, Sissoko manages it. He just forces it in. That was maybe one of the most uncoordinated goals you're going to see. But you know who cares? Not me. That's a 1-0 result. We're finally... Oh, we're finally in front. We've been attacking and attacking, knocking on the door. Sunderland, to be fair to them, have had their attacks, but we have finally taken it for the worst goal you might ever see. But they might come right back with a response of their own. They might just do it. Oh, they really went down that wing quick. I have got to worry about those fullbacks. Uh, Van Arnold and, of course, Yedlin. Both extremely pacey fullbacks that are causing problems. I don't think we're going to have time to get another attack in. They're just... I just don't see it happening, but that is a shocking ball. Oh my god! Aaron's has just absolutely smashed Yedlin there. He's missed the tackle. Is he going to get a yellow card now? I wonder. I, surely that's going to be another card. We're going to come into the second half and Aaron's is going to have... We're going to have three players on yellow cards, I swear. But wow, Yedlin taken out at half time, and we have taken out Sunderland. It's 1-0. We've gotten the goal. We've made it happen, and now we've just got to keep on hitting them. Looking at the halftime stats, the shots have actually been in Sunderland's favour, as has possession, although possession in most legendary games will favour the AI side. But hey, we're the, one, we're the one with the main stat, which is great to see. Now, keep it moving. Can we maybe build on it? Can we maybe get a goal that's beautifully worked? And but, No, that's not, not like that. Not like that. Come on. Oh my God, he's winning everything right now. This is beautiful stuff from Mangala. Having an absolute blinder of a game so far. I love it. And Aaron's is away. He's away. Get through. Right up the middle. Charge at him. And again, go back to him. And again, Aaron's just take a hit from distance. Oh, it's a big save by Pantillimon. Oh, what a beast. I don't take too many long shots with Aaron's, but that could have been something special. Let's whip in across and hope for something. Mangala, who's been winning all the headers today. Oh, it's going to be a goal kick. It's been put over. Aaron stole the header from Mangala, I swear. I am making two changes. Rolando Aarons is coming off, and we've also got, uh, who is it? Oh, man, I suck. Tealy Man's coming on for, uh, who is it? Uh, CM Dion, that's right. So they're coming off. They are going to go for it. You know that. They're approaching the 80th minute. If we can hold out, get a good counter, in, or maybe pressure them, like that. Yan Mat. No, it's another foul. Stop it. Just stop it. Let us go through. Oh, it's another mistake. They keep giving us the goddamn ball. It's hilarious. But this is... But that's brilliant play. But an overhit through ball is the difference. There's no second goal. We can't just score a good goal. And now they're away on a counter-attack because I've been so crazily... Oh, my God. They're ruining it for themselves. Find out and takes a touch instead of hitting it. Oh, my God. I have so many problems with this game right now. Please, head up. Nice. You know what? I'm just about done going for the second. Let's just whack it, whack it away. They've always got their guy getting on it. Kabul versus Perez. He can't sneak him. Can't get it. Still, I've got players approaching. We're putting them under the pressure. Hopefully a turnover, but no, they're going crazy. They're going nuts with their one touch, or not even, their first time passes. They just keep crossing it in. There's nobody there, though. Header. It's not one, and V is there. Mangala takes a touch. Oh, my God, Brown. Fletcher, shot. It's 1-1. One, one. They've snuck it right at the end. Oh, I don't believe it. How many chances did we get? How many chances did we get to put the game to bed? 2-0. How many chances did we get? And we just did not do it. And they get us no time to attack and get the winner. And it will end in a 1-1 draw. That is incredible. Mm. That's, yeah, that's how it is, isn't it? So that's the 1-1 draw then. That's the result. Mangala's happy. Of course he's happy. And in, in a way, while it's horrible to concede 90th minute goals, at least it's not a, a game that... It's not, at least it didn't lose us the game. And to be fair, the streak is now snapped. So the win streak's over. It's a point taken to each side. However, we had to kill that game. We had to finish it off. But we kept making so many mistakes. It was so horrible. That overhit through ball right at the end. I couldn't believe it. I just knew in my head it would happen. And you better believe it, it happened. Devastated right now is a pretty good word for that. Absolutely horrific. I'm glad that at least it wasn't a loss. That is the best. That is... Yeah, that's the only thing that I can take from this game, right? That's the only thing that I can take from it. That it wasn't a loss. That is pretty sad. We are incapable of finishing the game. We just cannot. Even when they're going crazy and just attacking, and we have all this space, very few defenders up, even if they're playing five at the back formation, it doesn't matter. They still have all this space at the back. We, they keep turning the ball over in their own damn third. We can't get players in the right positions, and when we do, we keep fucking up passes. It's so infuriating. 
And now we have to go through it all over again. We are going to be playing Bournemouth this time. Now, we managed to take a win this time again in a very... Oh, we got the goal somehow and then they just pummeled us and pummeled us. But again, sort of... Sort of the problem that we were having. We just could not score. Could not score. It's not fucking possible for us right now. But hopefully, we won't have that issue. We were able to force an absolutely horrific goal in the previous game against Sunderland. Now we need to play well, hit targets, get in the right areas, and finish well. We just need this to happen. Please, let's get the goals. Come on, seriously. This is getting insane, the amount of shots that we're having and the attacks that we're having for so slow, for so few goals and so low scores. It's infuriating. Ah, oh, come on. Okay then, well, let's try this again. We're going to be playing Bournemouth and we know that this team is not one of the better teams. We know that Sunderland definitely are not one of the better teams. We're not playing a lot of great teams in this episode. So how aren't we getting the results? How the hell? We've got to get these goals. Come on. I'm going to try to be a little bit more patient with it. Mitrovic, he just, avo he just evades that tackle. Rolando Aarons, can he run by? I'm looking in the middle. I've got no support in the middle. That is something that constantly happens for me, not having that support. I feel like I'm about to change formation nearly again. Tillemans, let's it, let's it come to him. De Jong, Mitrovic, down he goes. He's got no support. There's no foul either. But look at this. We've got space now for Aarons to just run. Can he cross? Maybe not. I need Mitrovic to get in the area. He's not bloody there. He's hanging in, a, in, a, in an awful area for him right now. Mitrovic is there. Tillemans, can he... Oh, he's wheeled around well past Ariada. Back. Again, I'm taking it nice and slow, Tovan. Mitrovic again. Just get in the mix of Mitrovic. Come on. This is not where I want you. You're hanging in an awful area right now. Great block by Aaron's. Huge. And now, can we get him? Counter. We're out. This is the thing playing Mitrovic. You do not have these opportunities. Come on. Suzuko, 1-2. One, 1-2. Two. One, two. Suzuko, you're running to an awful area right now. Go out wider again. We're moving it forward. Tovan. In the middle he goes. Oh my god, yes. Mitrovic. He's, over, he's let the ball run through. I did not tell him to do that. I wanted him to take the touch. He's let the ball run through and they've made the slide tackle. Good tackle. Nicely done. Please just get there. Please just... De Jong just goes in hard. But he's able to get it. Now keep on moving. Come on. Oh, we might actually really get them right now. This could be big. We just need the support. We need the players to get open. There's one. Hidara. Oh, that's... He's... No foul. He's got the ball. Of course he has. And that's the end of it. Oh, we had a brilliant attack on right there. But again... Just can't make the passes happen. Just cannot hit them. Another attack and another half that ends nil-nil. Another half goalless. What is it going to take? We have got to score more goals. I, I'm i not content with just scoring one goal a game or whatever. I just want to really be able to get as many goals as possible because this is what is uh, this is what we need to do. Up the middle, yes. All good. Come on, we got the spaces. De Jong, in we go. Oh, De Jong, De Jong, De Jong. I'm looking at Mitrovic. Bang! Tillemans, it wasn't even Mitrovic, it was Tillemans, and he's missed it. Finally, the best chance of the game, and the first time, it's so close as well. Like, the first time we got a great attack in, and an absolute genuine chance, he's missed the target. However, though, I can sense the goal. We're starting to play quite well, but then again, uh, they're getting in some d d decent attacks of their own, though. But, oh, right up the middle, please. Yes, go, 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 Mitrovic. Are you going to... Oh, keeper comes out for it. You know it, there's that as well. Oh, good. Yes, come on, there's space there. Absolutely. Tovan, get going, Tovan. Yes. Yeah, this is good. I like it, I like it, I like it. Come on, I need the cross. I need the cross. I need the cross. Yes. Yes, there it is. That's a horrible finish. It's literally right up the middle of the goal. Come on, man. Put it at least to the left or to the right or whatever. It's straight up the middle. Good play there, finally, between... I was working well with Tovan and the right back, Yan, man. There was a the space there. And for a second, I thought, no, you've only gone and hit it straight at the set at the defender. But thankfully, it just missed him. And yes, a nice little finish by Dion. Finally, the goal. We've got it in the 75th minute, and we've taken the lead again. Now, we've already had a 1-0 lead in this episode, and we've given it away very, very late. Please, let's not let that happen again. If they're going to give Cole back all this space. Oh my god, if they're going to give Cole back all this space. Ginger Pirlo. Ginger freaking Pirlo. Ginger freaking Pirlo. Mitrovic, I need you to score to keep your place in the team. For me to give you a... For, you've got to give me a reason for me to keep playing you. Because Perez is brilliant and you not so much. Love your work. Love it. Love it. Love our work right now. Genie by now, it's put wide. Oh, come on, guys. F -f -f Obviously, there's going to be a bit that more space. They're going to have to go for it more, but uh, I probably could have taken one or two more touches. Oh, for the love of God, please don't let this happen again. Come on, I'm actually going defense, defensive. Let's go defensive. Let's make sure. I don't care. I'm le I've learned from the last game. Head it away. 
Not very far. 88th minute. We're getting close to the moment that they scored. Oh my god, please. Get, let's just get it out. Head, another header. Over the top. We can't clear it from the danger zone. Snuck up behind. No, no, not Gradella. Shot! They've done it again! They've done it again! They've made another another equalizer! We just kept clearing the ball, but we just couldn't get any we just couldn't get any further than that. Mangala tried to sneak it. Yan Matt. I don't know what an attempt at a save that was by Oh, come on. He stuck his foot out. Like, he basically fell backwards and stuck his foot out and got no, nowhere near it. And Darlow has let it in again. He has been really shit. He's been fucking dreadful. Even coming out, when it, even things like corners, coming out to grab it. He can't even do that that well. I think Elliot's about to get games, I reckon. Is it too late? Another 90th minute equalizer. Have Yeah, well, we've only given it away straight away. Find out. I might not fucking believe it. It might not be. Maybe we can do it. Can we do it? Over the top ball. Find out. Please be good. Hey, it sort of worked. Genie. Oh, it's a tackle. It is a corner. Oh, please, Mitrovic. I'm going ultra attacking for this. I want to swap players. Who do I have? I want my smallest. I want Colback. I'll just get Colback to deliver this. I don't really have an awful lot of height. Colback. It's okay. It's not great. It's headed. It was won by De Jong, but again, he's just got a knack of just hitting it straight down the middle. And that will be that. It will be another 1-1 one -one coming off of another goal conceded right in the 90th minute. Again, can we just defend? That time, I was actually holding players back. I was like, I'm not going to go all out to get the second goal that time. I was like, we're going to defend. We're just going to continually clear the ball. But it only got this far out of the box every single time. So that's another 1-1 one -one and another. This is going to be a painful episode for you guys to watch right now. And I'm sorry. You think you're having... Oh, you think you're struggling. I imagine I'm fucking dead inside right now. I just cannot get a result. I just can barely score. It's just so infuriating. We have simmed a home game against Stoke and lost it somehow 1-0. We have... We've been leading 1-0 and then we've conceded in the 90th minute in two games in a row. I have no idea how, but I feel like with the way it's going right now, one of my players is going to get injured doing one of these drills and will probably get out. But no, Perez goes up by a little bit, Tilly Man's by a bit, and Bemba not by much. He's about to go up in the stand tackle. But yeah, the way things are going for me right now, I genuinely feel like, you know, like I know that you can't, but like a play, something's going to happen. Like, oh, an issue happened when you were when you were training your players. They've gotten an injury. They're gone. Just everything. I just like, oh, I've got a lot of pent up aggression right now. I want to let loose. I want to let it loose on Leicester, but at the same time, I just know that. A will to score does not necessarily translate to goals. We need the we need everything to work, and occasionally it does, and we get the goal or two in uh, through either never really that convincing means or doing it quite well. Everything works, and we manage to have we manage to get the goal. But that just is not happening for us right now. Oh my god, I don't believe it. I just went to go load up all the drills. I'm not even fucking kidding. I just went to load up all the drills, and all the drills but Tilly Manzas were loaded up. So do you know what that means? Oh, it means he's away for international duty. Oh, for a second I was like, I just joked about him getting a training injury from doing these drills. And for a second I thought there is no way that that just happened. Because that would just culminate the unbelievable amount of bullshit that I'm having to deal with in this episode. And the sheer, oh, how it's just continuing to piss me off. But no, he is actually going away. We have a few players going away for international management. So that is fine. And obviously, you know, by international management, I mean playing for their international side, which is fine. So we're going to do two with Perez. Two with him, member, and one for Mitrovic. And that one's going to be uh, one that improves his ball control and dribbling because that really, oh, that just, yeah, he's just got gen much, much worse ball control and dribbling than any of the other strikers or attackers that I have in my side. And it's of, of real note. So hopefully we can improve that. I don't know by how much, but it could really, really do with an improvement. And so far, it looks like he did quite well. Uh, and Bemba's getting very close to 78 too, which is good to see. How much longer until we get our players back? We're not getting, uh, we're not going to get another chance to play a train until the uh, after we play this Leicester game. And finally, we're going to have a home game as well. That 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 as well. The fact that we haven't played at St James Park in this entire episode. But this will be the final game in the episode. I'm going to do everything I can to try to get. To, to obviously to try to win, that's what I try to do with every game, obviously. I don't try to draw games or lose games, but anyway, I'm trying to go in and win this game, but I want to win it by as many goals as possible. I know I'm talking it up. I know I'm saying, yeah, I want to score as much as possible with only only being able to score one or, one goal a bloody game. It's just so infuriating. I just need some real solid attacks. 
to just pan out. Everything to go our way. To, the plays to make a good run, the passes to hit their targets, and the, and the finishes to be convincing and clinical. We just need everything to work. Just one or two or three times. Let's see if we can do it. We need a great result. We need a big result against Leicester, who obviously are not doing as well as what they are in this career mode season compared to in the Premier League right now. So hopefully, you never know. So final game of the episode against Leicester City. Obviously, they have got some dangerous players in their team and obviously some players that have been tearing apart the Premier League. But hopefully, we can keep them contained. As a matter of fact, I'm looking. I can't see Vardy and I can't see Mares. The game must be feeling a bit sorry for me because I swear that Vardy and... Oh, I have not made that tackle. I swear that Vardy and Mares are not playing in this game. I'm yet to see them. I saw a play go down after some contact. There was no... Oh my God, what a, what a hit. Aaron's. Come on, let's go. Right up the middle again. I see plays in space. Yep, come on. Fast passing. And again, over the top. Could have gone a little bit wider there. That's all right. But Cabela is away. And I am going to just cross this. Let's, let's be... Oh, beautiful! Absolutely perfect from Cabela. That was amazing. And Perez heads one home at the far post. That was sensational. Look at that pinpoint at the far post. Right over the... That is sensational. Could you have hit that cross with any more accuracy? Quick answer. No. Unbelievable by Cabela. That is huge. Perez, obviously with a neat header, but Cabela, that is your goal of a brilliant delivery. Insane. Oh, but please look at the space once more on this right-hand side. And again, please play him through quick. Nice. Is it over the hit? It's not over hit. Yeah, this could be big. Find Adam. Find Adam. Oh, it's a good save by Schmeichel. Come on, I really wanted you to keep it low, but they just do not keep it low. Oh, yes, please find it. Oh, my God. We had a really good attack on. We have an in... Oh, you're joking me. Injury number seven or eight or whatever. Now, Aaron's has an injury. Would you just fuck off? Straightforward. Just fuck off with the injuries. This is killing me. Now, I've got to go and play Cabela on the left-hand side where he was just, he was killing it on the right. Tovan is a right midfielder and nothing but. He, Cabela can play on both sides at least, so I've got to do that now. Oh, please, just keep tearing it apart. At least on the left-hand side for me, Cabela. I mean, seriously. So right on half-time, we're going to probably end this with an injury. Could we end it with another goal? Hey, we maybe, 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 maybe. Away goes Perez. That's not great. Battling. Perez doesn't get there. Robert Huth. Are you fucking kidding me? What a result. How did he get the ball through Perez there? I don't understand. But anyway, it is going to end 1-0. And another injury. Because we were going so well in this game that there's no way that we were going to end this half 1-0 playing beautiful football and doing really well. No, we had to end it on some sort of negativity and bullshit. And it was in the form of a Rolando Aaron's injury. Gokhan Inla comes on for Danny Drinkwater for Leicester. We get to make a substitute apart from the force injury. But um, yeah, I think apart from that, that is it. Oh, looks like they've got to play down from the looks of things. Oh, no, that's no good, is it? You're going to take out our place? Well, we'll take out yours, motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. Do we have to kick it away or can we play it? Yeah, we'll play it as well. Yeah, stuff is. Yeah. Oh, my God. Inlet, what a, what a move. Oh, my God. Oh, well, there you go. Well, what a move by Inla. And then the low cross somehow beat Mangala. And it's 1-1. Look at this from Inla. I don't know what the hell happened here. What the, f what, the what was that? He went in for the tackle. I don't know how Mangala didn't clear. Look at this ball. He's, he's facing the goal. He's at, what are you? What what are you? Mangala just had a down moment. He just had a little, where am I moment. He just forgot where, who, who he was and what he was doing and everything that he stood for. His whole family, everything. He's just forgotten everything. He's just standing there like a melon. Are you kidding me? They just keep getting it. They keep getting the ball. Every tackle. They keep finding the ball. They keep getting it. Some random bloke I've never heard of now playing for Leicester. Tries an attempt and it gets very, very close. If they'd scored from that, after all those attempts at tackles, goodness me. I mean, this half has just been almost totally the opposite of the first. I'm really annoyed by it. Please be onside. Yes, he is, Suzuko. Come on. We've got players to cross to or maybe a fake shot or do something. We're going to have to dance. Instead, they've got three players at all times going to the guy on ball. Hey, we get it back. We get fortunate. Come on, here we go. 90 minutes in, stoppage time, two minutes of it. Intercept big by Suzuko. There we go, there's a mistake. This is the final chance, Suzuko. Get away. Can we do it again? That far post cross. Maybe. No, that's terrible. It's right to Simpson. Cabela. Out wider. No. Oh my God. Damn it. It's another 1-1 one -one draw. At, at least this time it didn't come. Their goal didn't come in the 90th minute, but it's another 1-1 one -one draw. Oh, wow. This is not good. Three points taken from a possible nine. Oh dear, oh dear. We played so well in the first half. It was amazing. Had so many great attacks. Only the one goal, but that's fine. But we were doing so, so well. What happens? Aaron gets injured. We go into halftime and we come out and we just seem to play like, 
I don't know. We go right back to our usual selves. Not playing great football. Not hitting targets. And again, all that, all the issues that we seem to be having. So there you go. Let's just do some more player training. Come on. I'll just keep. I'll keep with these drills. Perez and Bemba, and of course. Uh, Mitrovic. We won't be able to train Aaron's for any time soon, which is unfortunate. But yeah, and Bemba, he's on the verge of getting a 78. That injury is going to be four weeks. To take the total players that we've had injured in this in this career mode already to about seven or eight, and we're not even out of like November. How big a break are we going to get until our next Premier League game? We're not going to get uh, more than a week. So that's the final uh, training drills that we're going to get to do. We're going to end it here. We are going to be playing Crystal Palace first game of our next episode. It'll be them, then it'll be Liverpool and Tottenham and then Aston Villa. So, which one of those games would I sim? Obviously the Aston Villa game, but the way we're going, we just can't win a sim game. So please, hopefully we get the three points in that regard. We just can't win a game at all, period. At least any game that we're trying to play. I mean, losing to teams like Chelsea and Man City, I can, I can deal with that because we're only Newcastle. We're not as good as them and hopefully, and you know, that's fine. Losing to teams like, to be fair, we didn't actually lose any games. We drew them, but losing 90th minute, like, equalizers to teams like Sunderland and goddamn, uh, every, who's the other team that we played? Man, I've got a shit, I've got a shit memory. This was another one of those very infuriating episodes where we had moments of happiness, moments of joy, moments where everything worked out, but, there, but a lot of, just majority of it, just really frustrating stuff. And that's just, uh, just, it's reflective of how it feels to be a Newcastle fan right now, but... Oh well, we've gone, we're going on a good run in real life, but unfortunately we can't really replicate that right now. We're 11th at the moment on the table. That is still, at this point, much, much better than what we were, but I... <laughs> to not even be in the top 10 at this point, I'm still quite disappointed with We're going to hopefully steer the ship back on course in the next episode. I'm thinking about bringing out a new formation which will involve two strikers, a center attack and midfielder, left mid, right fielder, and a CDM. That's what I'm thinking. So this formation might get a little bit more of a run. We'll see if it works, but if it, and if it does, then that'd be very exciting. But until that episode, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name's Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a good one. Bye-bye.